Back in the Middle Ages, water quality was an undiscovered science. Men carry drinking water from public wells, delivering it directly to the people. No one knows that the water they need for life can actually make them sick. By the 17th century, it becomes possible to discern what's hidden in a single drop of water. A lens grinder by the name of Antony von Leeuwenhoek creates a microscope that can magnify an object by 270 times its original size. Among other things, he discovers bacteria, though he doesn't yet understand its importance. By the late 1800s, waterborne diseases plague European cities on a regular basis. In Hamburg, Germany, the city's last cholera outbreak kills almost 9,000 people who have been drinking polluted river water. With Hamburg, there's an additional problem. The ebb tides of the Elbe River may take the sewage with them. At high tides, however, they are pressed back into the canals, so the dirt gets stuck and causes bacterial pollution, which in turn causes cholera. Robert Koch is a world-famous bacteriologist who finds Hamburg's living conditions to be appalling, even for the time. He identifies that water is the key to stopping the outbreak. And this motivates local government to install filtration systems for the first time. <laughs> 